Hello YouTubers, this is going to be the second video where we start learning how to write in C-sharp. Uh, like I told you in the last video, uh, you need to uh, download and install an IDE, an integrated development environment that's called Visual Studio. It's a program that'll help you write C-sharp code and execute and turn it into whatever you want, whether you want it to be a desktop application, a mobile application, or a web application. So uh, let's go ahead and start Visual Studio. I'm using Visual Studio 2017. 2019 preview is out. You could download that for free and uh, and, uh, and get Give it a shot you could try it out it comes in with a lot of good features um, once you start Visual Studio 2017 uh, you gonna want to go to file new project and because this is really basic C sharp stuff we're gonna start with a console application so what you want to do go to uh, Visual Studio C sharp uh, console application and in the bottom here, and this is very important, this is your solution name. So if your solution is called demo, then your app probably should be demo.app. Okay. So, so here's what we're doing. The organization of your solution here is very important. You're going to want to make sure that your solution name and, and the projects that come under that solution make sense right so so the the order here the organization here the solution gets a name and then everything after that will take the solution name and then the project name so for instance if you're building a system for uh, for for a, a coffee shop so the top the solution name will be coffee shop but then there'll be coffee shop web that's for the web application coffee shop mobile android uh, coffee shop .mobile iOS. you want to make sure that your project is ordered and organized this way so it's easier for you to know what projects are doing what and it's easier for other people also to follow that standard and understand what your project is doing and where to look for things when they're looking for a specific functionality or a specific feature so as soon as you create a new project you will notice something it creates a new empty file in here called program.cs cs stands for c sharp program.cs is your entry point this is the file that executes that runs that allows your code to compile and then runs and then shows you the results of what your code is doing so it doesn't matter how many and we're gonna do that we're gonna create so many different files like that program.cs will always be your entry point for console applications console applications are the application that just show a black screen just pops up and it shows you some stuff in it that's a that's a console application as we move forward with this course you will learn about a, a lot of different uh, types of applications like web applications and whatnot so this is program at the top here, let, let me explain you there, uh, this, this side as well. There's properties for your project. We will visit that later. There is references. These are libraries that you want um, that you want to use in your project. These properties is basically static values that you may need in the future when you want to set up a connection to a database or a connection to a storage. App config, that's your app application configuration. If you're pulling in, you know, specific configuration for your app, we'll also visit these. You don't have to worry about that right now. And then there's program.cs. Let's look at the contents of program.cs. At the top here, these are the libraries that you may or may not need to write some code. Uh, at the bottom of that, there's a namespace. That's a scope. If you see when I, when I hover over, it shows you a little bit of lighter color that shows you all of this lives within that namespace scope. We will visit namespaces and classes in later videos. But then there is also a class. This class is program. C Sharp as an object-oriented programming is a bunch of classes that, that has few properties and few actions that we call them methods, right? So this main class is called program. That's your program that you're running. And within that main method is where all our code is going to be for the next couple of sessions right your main method is your entry point so if I go in here and type in something like console dot right line hello world and then I go up here to start or click F5 and, and run my application it'll pop up something real quick and then it'll go away and I'll tell you what happened 
it'll show hello world and then it, it goes back now let's add here a line that says read key hold off that monitor until I click enter or any key really so if I run now it shows you so you see that black monitor in here that black monitor in here that shows you the message that you've just typed in here so for this video what I want you to do try to look around try to build a project like this and try to different things try to print different messages using console dot uh, right line and console read key and I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching